Hey everyone, Adam Shar here from Brevera Media Company. Today, I've got another vintage map for you guys. It is a bird's eye perspective map of Chattanooga, Tennessee that was originally produced in 1871. As you can see, it's a bird's eye perspective map and now we get to see changes in landscape, vegetation, building architecture, rivers, railroads, people walking on the streets, industries. We get to see a three-dimensional perspective of Chattanooga Tennessee as it was back in history. What a treat. I love these bird's eye perspective maps. Um, uh, before we get right into exploring this old map, let's go over a brief history of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, its first inhabitants consisted mainly of Native American tribes uh, ranging from the Mississippian to uh, Uchi tribes and then later on to the Muskegon and Cherokee tribes. Uh, the actual name Chattanooga, the first part Chatta, uh, is actually, I believe it's a Muskegon word uh, that essentially means rock and then the Nuga was a regional term, a uh, suffix term for dwelling. So uh, I, I guess the, the Muskegon tribes were naming that area because of the the terrain was rocky. Uh, the in 1839 uh, Chattanooga was of in officially incorporated. Uh, the city started to really grow largely because uh, the Tennessee River was supplying a large amount of commerce around. And then in 1850, I mean, it just exploded even more because of the railroad showing up. Uh, it just, it just, the industry really, really boomed uh, in 1850. Uh, the city uh, was known as, for a brief time, uh, where cotton meets corn, and this is really largely to its regional location uh, because it was in between the uh, the south and the cotton industry and the north in terms, of, well, their relative north location in terms terms of the corn industry so they were kind of in, in a middle ground so that's why they were called the uh, where cotton meets corn so kind of interesting little uh, background on that uh, now uh, there was definitely some uh, some history in terms of the Civil War influence on the area of Chattanooga uh, uh, large there was uh, I guess you could say a consolidation of Union troops in and around Chattanooga. Uh, let's see if I get my dates right. Uh, uh, September 9th, 1863, the, the city was bombarded as a diversion tactic by Union uh, artillery. And it, it allowed uh, certain divisions to occupy the city. There were other battles in and around that section of Tennessee uh, in which Union uh, armies were, were getting defeated. And it wasn't until uh, Ulysses S. Grant consolidated all those forces in and around Chattanooga, they were actually able to, to retake their foothold in that section of Tennessee. So Chattanooga is really a, like, a Union Army consolidation uh, area where they really were able to organize their troops. Ulysses S. Grant, you know, the future president, he was really leading uh, the armies in that area at the time. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to dive right in. We're going to zoom and kind of explore and examine the various aspects of this map. And we'll kind of uh, talk about the material uh, and kind of cross-reference it with this map. So let's dive right in. Uh, right away, we can see Chattanooga labeled right at the bottom. You can see the date, 1871. I love these bird's eye perspective map. If you look at a lot of my videos, I, I gush about these things because it you get to go back into time. You get a visual perspective. The overhead 2D maps can only do so much. They don't really, you know, they can show you the layout of a city, but man, you get the feel, the how vibrant it was, what was going on, if it was booming, you get a much more dynamic feel for the city. 
when we talked about commerce really being influenced by the Tennessee River, we really meant it. Uh, as we can see, uh, lots of river boats loaded up on uh, the shores right here, on the riverbeds. We even see some industries, again, you know, commerce, really in impactful uh, in terms of the Tennessee River. Also a railroad uh, lying right across along the, the Tennessee River. Uh, absolutely a no-brainer that you see these in a lot of these 1871 bird's eye perspective maps, the railroad uh, going parallel to the rivers. I mean, industry, industries could transport goods through boat and then uh, via uh, train. So uh, definitely uh, interesting. We can see the industries right here. Here's H. I've already looked up some of these locations down at the key. I just got to check back. Yeah, that's a sawmill right there at H. Uh, distillery also. I saw a distillery labeled. Yep. Here's the distillery G right here next to the sawmill. I'm wondering if people over at the sawmill, you know, after they were done, I don't know if, if you could go buy this distillery and pick up some drinking material. Possibly. So I bet if, if we researched even more, we would probably find a story about uh, people who are working at the sawmill would would go over to the distillery possibly, and uh, and go get some beverages. I I, I would assume there's got to be some kind of story pertaining to that around there. Uh, e. It's an ironworks. Ironworks right by the river. Obviously, a lot of these industries needed uh, large immense immense amount of water. Uh, F. That I looked up, I believe that's a brick company. They they made bricks. Let's see. Yep, Chattanooga Brickworks. So obviously a lot of these industries, bricks, distillery, ironworks to cool, cool down the iron, uh, a sawmill, they all needed water, obviously. And then they had this railroad right next to it, as well as the river, to really kind of move things along. That's another industry D. We'll take a look at that. That's a, a car wheel works. That's a wheel works right there at D. Pretty cool. And, you know, I putzed around and I found that this is an opera house right here, right by Alabama Street. Uh, I saw that. I thought I'd point that out to you. And there was a couple. There's a water works over on this side of the Tennessee River. Right over here. That's a water works. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there wasn't a lot of locations labeled on this map. Usually, you see a lot more. But, I mean, locations range from uh, a tannery. I found the tannery earlier. Let me see if I locate it again. I think it was one of these C or B right here, very close to the railroad as well as the Tennessee River. Let me see if C is it. I believe C. Yep, tannery. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I saw these industries uh, over here, and man, a tanner. I used to do archaeological projects, and man, tanneries had to be close to water. To stretch those hides, you had to, they were always by water. It was just a requirement, and uh, it, obviously very close proximity to the river. So, you know, just a kind of a cool glance into this map. Uh, I really love these bird's eye perspective maps. Uh, they never disappoint me. Sometimes they disappoint me. I wish there were more locations labeled, to be honest, because, I mean, there's just they're loaded with information. And you really get to see how built up the city was at the time. So uh, definitely a cool map that we have. So definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do videos like these all the time where we explore old maps. We look at geographical history. We look at history. If, if you like that sort of thing, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We upload videos all the time. Uh, definitely like this video, share this video, leave a comment below if you have any questions about this map or Chattanooga history or you'd like to see another map. Definitely leave a comment below and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.